Hey guys, welcome back to Gunplay News, episode 21 for August 2016. This is part 4, we're going to be talking about a little bit of third party stuff. So I really don't have too much to talk about this month in this section. Uh, there's just a couple of things maybe I can recap for us here. Uh, mostly, one thing that I think was announced before but I missed somehow is the uh, full Saber parts set for the HG uh, or RG double O quant kit. Uh, so you can use this for the new newly released RG or the HG kit, whichever you want, apparently. Uh, this is going to be made by uh, BTF, which has made a few things before. As far as I know, BTF is like an actually licensed third-party producer out of Japan. So I think that kind of means that their quality should be a little bit higher. But I have the BTF uh, Double Zeta kit, and it's okay, but it's not, I mean, still not Bandai quality, that's for sure. Anyway, so if you did want a full Saber parts set, there's no indication at this time that Bandai is uh, planning on producing like some P-Bandai parts set for that. So if you wanted that, this looks like it would be a good way to get it. I haven't seen uh, any official selling price or release date for this, but I think that's coming out pretty soon. If you're interested in that, uh, you can check out on Facebook. There's a few different sellers. I know they're selling it. Uh, if you just uh, you know do some Google Googling, BTF, Full Saber, RG, Double O Quant, I'm sure you can find it on there. But that will be coming. And just a reminder that the 100 scale GN Arms is going to be coming out in December. So as far as I've seen, this is still coming out in December for around $130 about for that. So definitely pretty pricey. But I mean, this is 100 scale and it's going to be pretty big. So you can use this for your um, Master Grade or 100 scale uh, double O kits. Yeah, this image... Uh, that I'm not really too sure about if this is actually going to be coming out or when, but just to quickly mention this, it is uh, from a company called Fun Hobby. Apparently, they're doing a metal build 1100 scale Blue Destiny Unit 1. Um, this image is really all we have, and so I really don't know too much about this, but just thought I'd mention it to you guys. If you are a really big fan of the Blue Destiny, um, there will possibly be this metal build 100 scale kit coming out. Although I'm not too sure. But anyway, I just want to mention that to you guys. The other thing quickly here is um, we had this image come from Mechanicore. So as we know, Mechanicore is currently working on getting their um, Cubalay kits out. They're not re quite released yet. They're supposed to be released at the end of this month, I think. So as far as I know, they're still kind of on schedule, but uh, they're usually a little bit late. So probably it'll be later in September that I'll get that uh, new Cubalay kit from Mechanicore. But we had this new image here now from Mechanicore. This is um, at first I thought, okay, is this? It says it's coming soon. Now, at first I wasn't sure if they're talking about their next project or if this is just related to the Cubalay, because what this kind of looks like, it kind of looks like the backpack of the Cubalay. Um, but and it would kind of make sense to say like it's coming soon, like the kit is almost ready to be released. It's coming soon, right? But um, uh, just is also labeled as just like Mechanicore 100 scale, like blank, 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 blank. Uh, that's how uh, Samuel Decal labeled the album on his page though. So I guess, you know, that's just his, Samuel Decal's labeling of the, the image album. But ba I'm sure he titled that based on the information he got from Mechanicore when he got the image or wherever the image is from. Basically, I just want to show this because I want to know what do you guys think that this is? <laughs> it's it looks pretty obviously like it's probably a back skirt or backpack of some Xeon mobile suit. As far as I can tell, it doesn't. It sort of looks like the shape of a shield, but it's probably not. It's more likely a back skirt of something. Um, there's a lot of things that it really could be because it's obviously stylized, but uh, I really don't know. Or it could be something you know, totally different that I'm just totally missing, but from how I'm looking at it, it looks like a back skirt of something. Um, a lot of people said the Kshatriya, but that's very doubtful that they're making a Kshatriya, even if it is a stylized version of the Kshatriya, seeing as how Mechanicore, when they were previously known as Ellen Hobby, already made a 100 scale Kshatriya, uh, it would be kind of doubtful that they would take another crack at it, just, uh, even again, even if it is just a different stylized version, I just don't think that that's that's probably going to be what it is, but um, it'll be interesting. I don't know. So what do you guys think that that is? Uh, I'm interested to know. I 
I'm always interested to see what Mechanicore is working on. So I'm looking forward to their Cubile being out so I can see what their next project is going to be. This is apparently some sort of hint at that. But I uh, really don't know at this point. So that's pretty much it that I have uh, for you guys for third-party stuff this month. Not really a whole lot. That's kind of how it tends to be. Haven't seen a whole lot of stuff about any new resin kits. But again, I'm not really the best at following resin stuff. So if you guys do know of something that I missed, let me know in the comments down below. And I'll try to add that into next month or something. So thanks for watching. And I'll see you in part five where I do have some really awesome featured kits to share with you guys. So definitely make sure to check that out. Bye-bye.